There it is. There we are. Hello, Justin. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> it's so good to see you all the way from Texas to Chi-Town. It's so great to be seen and to see you, Uncle Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you find out? Because because I got people. I know things. You got people? You got people? Yeah, man. Uh, our guitarist right now is like literally having a baby in the hospital right now. This, this, She's, very, moment. Uh, this very moment. Like, she, I, I texted him right before I came here and, and I was like, how are you doing? And they're like, she's like, any moment now I'm going to meet my firstborn. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And it's so crazy not to be there with him. Cause he's like my sober buddy. And like, he's been like sober for like five years. And so this is his first kid. And I'm just like, wow. And he's a rocker and she's so cool. And uh, yeah, it's just so awesome. So I'm just waiting for that text to say everything is healthy and, and golden, you know? That's so it's pretty cool. Yeah. So exciting. I feel and yeah. babies are such a great thing right now. It's a kind of oh, get yeah. everybody back to remembering, hey, we're actually living a life. So congratulations. Yeah, totally. Plus, plus having another baby in the blue October camp. Like me and my wife, we we have three. You know, uh, my brother, he has two. Our violinist, he has two. Uh, Matt, he has three. So whenever we play like Disney World, it's like crazy you should make a reality show on that i mean like it's like insane all of our kids together in this one place oh it's insane so you, to have will having one more is, is pretty cool you guys could probably rent out the whole park just with your crew now oh 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 that's too expensive no 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 i'm a budget guy no as soon as you said rent out i was like ding 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 nope nope interview is over no i'm joking just tell them who you are they're probably huge oh people. they know who they is know it? They know. They're like, oh, it's Justin again. All we want you to do is play. Stop asking us for free rooms, damn it. <laughs> no, I want to be on that. Well, they, yeah. like they give us like a free room and then we're like, but we want to be on the other one next to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> so I want to acknowledge everyone who's watching live on the 101 WKQX Facebook page. Uh, Shaylee, who obviously, you know, Chicago loves you, Justin. She says, Jessica and Alicia, Hi girls, watching Meredith and Chloe, welcome. You guys feel free to jump on and ask some questions. We'll get to that. I know Justin is itching to play maybe a song or two for us in just a little bit. Of course, you tell me what to do. I am your slave. Wait a minute, anything? Anything you'd like me to, I could, I could dance for you. Yes. Okay, there we go. All right, okay. That was All right. My, my, my Eric just went, Stop it. <laughs> Sit back down. Sit back down. All right. So hi to Eric. <laughs> hey, Lamar. Are you guys quarantined together? I muted myself. <laughs> Ooh, my teeth look white. <laughs> yeah, you got a, uh, we were commenting on your setup. This is obviously your home studio, which is so dope. Looks like a tattoo parlor. Right. Can you give a little tour of the flash work behind you? Yeah. I, I love this guy named Tim Beck. He's from Peoria, Illinois, not too far from you guys. And he has a place called Freedom Inc. Tattoos. And I buy flash art from him. And some of it's commissioned like that for some of the Blue October. This is, this is his. All of this is really his. And I just love it. And I just collect old Sailor Jerry, Timmy Tats. And that's an old painting I did for the first cover of our album. And so the whole studio is just set up like an old tattoo parlor. Can you, know? you, uh, can you share the story that goes along with that painting? Um, I was like probably, God, 17 or 18. And I was working in a mental health uh, ward for neuropsychs and uh, schizophrenics. And I worked the overnight shift. So they told me I could bring a canvas and uh, paints up there to pass the time. And so I was working and I painted it and it's just kind of I guess a representation of of me working on that unit that night and I just always really liked it because the colors are really bright and I'm not a painter I'm not saying in any way that I can paint no 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 because there's people out there that went to school for it and can actually paint so no that didn't happen I just wow. threw paint up there and that beauty came out your fans included I, Alicia in particular is an incredible artist I actually have a couple of her pieces in my home Right now, really? Mary, Carla, Francis, Christine, Wesley says, OMG, I would love to see him live, uh, which you're about to in just a little bit. Um, and 
Jim says she's a huge older fan. I don't know if that means she's an older person or is she an older person or she likes uh, older stuff. Maybe both. She likes the older music. Um, I think she likes the older music. Let's go with that one. <laughs> she loves your lyrics and wants to know if you think you'll do another book. Ooh, oh yeah. Um, actually, I have a lot of time on my hands right now and I'm working on the fourth edition of the crazy making book and it's going to be huge and I'm probably about halfway done with it right now. So probably in about another six months. But right now we're really focusing on the documentary and the new album, This Is What I Live For, and putting that out. We were going to release the documentary um, in August so people could go to, we were supposed to do it right now, but, you know, things happened. <laughs> My Corona. And, uh, and uh, things happened. So what we're going to do now is release it so people can actually rent it from home while they're in isolation and watch um, the actual documentary that we've made for seven years. And That's the new, yeah. amazing. So in between, you know, we're all looking for something now that Tiger King's over. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you watch it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you team Joe Exotic or team Carol or Jeff? I mean, you gotta, I gotta be team Joe Exotic just because, I mean, <laughs> the guy turned two straight dudes into his <laughs> That's a powerful man. I mean, either the drugs were really powerful or or that guy was really powerful, but I think both of them went hand in hand. Yeah. And I mean, you got to admit, that guy could sing and those videos he made. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to make, Eric, write this down. I want to make <laughs> videos like Joe Exotic made and typing it up, got that? I want to I wanna have an EMS jacket on so when that girl got her arm ripped off, he puts on his EMS jacket. Did you notice that while he smoked his cool? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was such a good show. I keep telling my wife and Eric to watch it. And they're like, no, that's not my style. I'm like, you're missing out. Totally missing out. It's no, you don't know it's your style until you're in it. Like three yeah, episodes. Till the third episode when homeboy's sitting in there and all of a sudden something happens and he goes, oh. remember that part? Remember that part? Oh my gosh. It's insane. So good. I want to meet him one day. Me too. We, we Maybe he's to... a fan of Blue October. He's definitely a fan of Blue October. Why would you Didn't say he... that? Why would you say he's a fan of Blue October? <laughs> well, his music was obviously inspired by the Foiled album. <laughs> oh, God, that's so hardcore. Why? Because of his mullet? That's because of his mullet, right? Will you please do a quarantine mullet, a little two-tone action, a little tribute to Joe Exotic? Maybe. You know what? It's funny that you say that, Lauren, because I'm actually growing my hair out, and I'm going to eventually grow it out so long that it just becomes like, and I'm going to have like a beard. Like, it's going to be so, oh. My yeah. wife's like, please don't, please don't. But I want to look like a, I want to look like a freaking lion. I want to look like a lion. And what I'm going to do when it's in that middle stage I'm gonna freaking shave it right here and I'm gonna grow it and I'm gonna create these curls and I'm gonna I'm gonna powder puff them. That's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna powder puff them. I'm gonna make them don't look at me like way Eric. He's like, what the hell are powder puff? Powder puff, I just made that up right now. That means bleach them, but make them soft like little cotton balls. I am totally on board. Uh, and again, you can ask your questions here on Facebook Live. Uh, Eduardo says that Ooh. you're Saved me 13 years ago. I feel like Ooh. you hear that a lot. Save people 13 years ago? <laughs> your, very, your music is very inspiring. It's very raw. It's very honest. And I think that's why your fans connect with it so much because you don't hold anything back. You're not presenting anything that's not real. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you very much. Eduardo, I'm glad that you were listening to me back when you needed somebody to connect with. That means a lot. Um, I hear that a lot, you know, but I, I guess I just, I, it's just nice to know. And I don't know how to take a compliment, Lauren. Thank you. I understand. Well, <laughs> I will just say that your fans are amazing. Um, one in particular, Aaron, who was offering for people who maybe are in a financial struggle right now, who maybe oh, wow. lost their jobs and you're doing this, you know, incredible performance tonight of the Foiled album on the Stage It platform, which the first show sold out. From what I understand, there's still tickets available for the second one. Yeah, there's like 300 tickets left for the second one. And I'm going to wear, okay, I don't know if you remember this. I'm gonna, I brought my suit from way back then. 
and that I used to wear suits all the time and eyeliner. So I'm going to. There it is. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I'm going to look like a raccoon. Watch. Bringing back the guy liner. I'm bringing back the guy liner. There you go. Yeah, it's going to exactly. be fun. But That's Aaron really has offered her. To about your other fans who maybe are in a financial hardship, which even though it's pay what you can, which is such right. a great concept, um, he's offering to help people out so that they can be a part of your performance tonight. So I is it Aaron know, Jennings? Aaron, I don't know his last name. Because a friend of mine named Aaron Jennings, he texted today and he said that he wanted to be the biggest tipper to help people be able to watch the show tonight and i was like oh my god that's so you know it's so selfless and thoughtful of him so i bet that's him he's such a good dude oh my god he's so amazing um adria wants to to know that she's getting married oh hopefully after quarantine our first dance is going to be your song she's my ride home the oh that's a good one too it's all romantic and dark and mysterious i know um, Chrissy says you killed it at picnic last year, which is such a bittersweet thing to talk about right now. We just announced that, um, we are not going to move forward with picnic 2020. Oh gosh. Just, last year was so year. much fun. So fun. Um, Frank wanted me to let you know that he's due for another trim, by the way. Oh, no way. Did, <laughs> did you hear about that? The guy showed up, right? Like I do barbering on the side, you know, I accidentally cut a dude once. So I've kind of do it less these days, but, um, Back when I was doing barbering well, and I'm glad I just told the station that did that as a promotion. For me. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't tell Troy I said that. Hi, Troy. Hey, John. Let's do a promotion where I cut people's hair. Anyway, this guy showed up. He had long hair, longer than yours, Lauren. And, um, and I was like, oh, my God. I've never cut anyone's hair like that. So I just said, scissors, please. And I just started chop, 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 chop. By the end of it, I was like Edward Scissorhands, man. Minus the, I mean, yeah, I was good looking like Edward Scissorhands and I just chopped him good and it was really nice. And when he was done, he was like, wow. And I was pretty surprised. It was a lot of fun, but it was raining outside. There was a tarp. Yep. That's it. I think the backstage was in the back of a van and it was like old school. It was so cool. Yeah. It was awesome. And then we got on stage and we rocked it and it was pouring and everybody was just shredding and I was throwing my hair back and it was flying. <laughs> like water was hitting the front and these girls were like, oh God. It was great. It was great. I'm 40 years old and these girls are like, I don't know, like 20. It was really weird. Most people have to pay extra for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My wife definitely does. She does. Well, She's Chrissy, like, Stop. when you played Into the Ocean, it rained harder than any time that day and it felt like she got baptized in that moment. Oh, is it because I said, let the rain come down? <laughs> <laughs> you probably made it rain. <laughs> I don't have that power, man. I didn't even go to college. Don't give me that much power. <laughs> I'm about there with the Joe Exotic and Joe Dirt, Joe Dierte, right in the middle there. You know what I'm saying? Joe Hustino Latino. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I joke when I'm uncomfortable. I'm joking. All right, Shelly says she really needs this right now. Been in her feels so bad, and you always give her hope and make her smile. Wanda is working at the hospital and taking little breaks watching you right now thank you so much thank you guys all for watching um, oh you guys are amazing you guys I, you know what's crazy is that this time lauren i at first i was all freaked out right like what am i gonna do oh my god our tour's canceled oh my god and then and then i just decided with my engineer eric i was like let's just get all the media equipment we can so we can connect with radio stations and people across the country and the world and I'm actually finding that this whole isolation thing is bringing me just to a even, even playing field where I can just relax. And it's not like this race where I have to try and present and, and perform and, and, and make it because we got to get it done because that band is moving up there and I got to do, you know, it's not like that anymore. It's about quality and, and finding something deeper in myself that gives me peace these days, which is insane. And um, I think it's a nice thing right now, minus the whole virus um it's such a, a a a good time to check in with yourself and to stay positive and be active like i get bored right i get bored and then i go stop being bored stop being a little baby do 20 push-ups you know and i just drop and i start doing 20 push-ups when i get bored and just the endorphins from that just makes me want to go do something else you know so i think it's really nice for artists right now and for everybody out there 
they're getting a time to put their materials away, materialistic things, put the race down, you know, um, all, all are on an equal playing field, the rich, the poor, everybody. And um, it's nice to see that we all can just breathe, take a step back and, um, and find things about ourselves, find out about things about ourselves that we, that we were taken for granted before. And that's what I'm really loving about this time. Sorry, I just went on a tangent, but no, that's what I love about this time. It's really it's nice. It's a great point for especially people like you who are constantly so busy and, you know, everything that goes along with um, running the, the institution that is Blue October and everything Ooh, that goes I like into that. It. The institution but that is Blue October, 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 October. You don't get that chance to slow down and really get that quality family time without working on the next thing and the next thing and going on tour and being gone. Um, it's crazy because also my, my daughter, my 12 year old daughter, she just, she just started living with us this year. And so what's really nice is I was going to have to, I mean, she started middle school in Texas for the first time, lives with my wife and I, and um, I was going to have to leave right after she started living with us. And so it's kind of like this bittersweet thing for me right now, because I get to actually be here for her first year in school instead of going, okay, now you live with us. See you later. You know, I get to make sure she's, you know, I've already had to fend, ooh, I've had to knock some boys around. I swear <laughs> to God, girl. Like I called one and I said, you little punk, you call here one more time, I'm gonna call 5-0. You think I'm playing, try me, try me. Call me again, you little punk. Call me one more time. And I swear, he's like, no, sir. He didn't call no more. I miss Blue. Is she teaching you how to run or what? Yeah, she's teaching me. She's so fast. She's like number one in Wimberley and, and Blanco. She's so fast. So she's got her daddy running a mile a day with her and then walking three miles. So it's like, I'm actually running, like jogging, like actually running. It's weird. It's See, weird. There, you should feel comfortable in that though. Just tell her, any boys give her some attitude, just haul ass. Yeah, won't be this little this little boy was a stalker and i know stalkers because i was one you know i was one so i know what stalkers are and this little boy was a stalker so i just shut that down quick understandable yeah. angie is saying you're holding that guitar so tantalizing will you play something please? i'm holding that guitar so tantalizing well yeah of course i'll play something my engineer's pretty upset with me though because he came in today and i cut up the back of the guitar so i would know where to put my fingers and he's like why did you do that? And he teared up and I had to hold him for a second. Now he's fine. Right, Eric? I got over it. <laughs> do you want me to play something, Lauren? Yes, please. Okay, this song is called Oh My My. It's our new song. I actually wrote it about dropping my 12 year old off in middle school for the first time. And she stepped out of the car and she's all emo and dark like her dad. So she's pretty cool. And, um, and as soon as she got out of the car, all the boys looked at her like, who's the new girl, you know? And that was pretty sweet to see. So uh, I wrote it about that. It goes like this. You wear black hair, I have blue. You look sadder than most girls do. The way you walk around, always watching the ground. Well, I like watching you. Your friends, they don't like me. I think they're jealous of my tattoos I'm not a bad guy Just like wearing black I'm not scared of anything But saying this to you It's going down Neither of us wanna be alone right now Come on, come on Oh my, my Yeah, I'm loving all the warning signs Cause I'm a sucker for you Oh my, my Girl, you get me high. Yeah, you're my type. You're danger, danger. I'll be waiting by the black top like a cigarette stain for you. Every day I just won't go away. I'm not scared of anything but saying this to you. It's going down. Neither of us want to be alone right now. What, what you gonna do? Oh my, my, yeah, I'm loving all your warning signs. Cause I'm a sucker for you, oh my, my. Girl, you get me high, yeah, you're my type. 
danger, danger on my mind. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the lonely kind. Because I'm loving all you on my mind. Girl, you get me high. Yeah, you're my type. Danger, danger. I can. I'll go anywhere you want me. Cause you want me to. Caught my eye. Now we free fall. Catch me. I'll catch you too. I can. I'll go anywhere you want me. Cause you want me to. Caught my eye. Watch us free fall. Catch me. Cause I'll catch you too. I'll catch you. Oh my my. Yeah, I'm loving all your warning signs Cause I'm a sucker for you, oh my my Girl, you get me high, yeah, you're my type You're danger, danger, oh my my Yeah, I'm a sucker for the lonely kind Because I'm loving all your oh my my Girl, you get me high, yeah, you're my type You're danger, danger That's the ultimate compliment. <laughs> the ultimate compliment. Oh, I love that song so much. Thank you. Yeah. I There's told her it was not her. Out, uh, soon, right? Yeah, the video comes out next week, actually. And it's completely cool because we had to get creative because we couldn't be in any videos right now. We couldn't shoot anything because we're all in isolation. So we reached out to an, a director named Johnny Chu who's based out of LA, I believe. But the thing is, is he does all anim animated and what is it called? Um, wait, stop, motion. stop motion. And so I sat in here and we took really good photos of my face in like, ah, oh, e, ah, f, s, m, t, and then did it all like this. So he can actually chop my face and make it like I'm singing. And then he's putting it into the, it's just so cool. It's so cool. And then I commissioned this painter named Philip Nichols out of Austin to do a painting for each one of the songs on the new album. And it's just going to be a beautiful piece of art when it's all done. I'll send you, I'll send you pieces. That's what I plan on doing is sending out pieces of all the art with all the songs when it comes out. So you'll get a, a package, Lauren, with all of them in there. You'll see it. That's cool. Is it the 29th? That yeah. Out? Look at that. What's today? What is today? I know it's Friday. It's one of them days, man. You know what I'm saying? We're we're in rock and roll. We don't need to know. We don't need to know nothing except when the rocking happens. So where yeah. is everybody in the band? How are you guys get, getting together? Are you doing Zoom chats? Are you video conferencing? Uh, yeah, my brother and I do. We live in the same town, you know, but the rest of the guys, they live uh, further Austin and way out there. So, you know, we're pretty, Eric and I are pretty strict about, you know, the coronavirus. And, and so we're just like, we'll FaceTime him and, and we'll put him on, on group chat when we're doing like live shows and stuff. But, but uh, we, we all miss each other a lot, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. But who I really miss the most is all of the people that support us. What I've really found is that when I'm at home, I'm one person, but the, the person that I am that completes me that I believe God put me on earth to be is this person when I, when I'm around all these people that I've known for 20 something years that have been supporting me. So it, that kind of hit me the other day when I was doing one of my live broadcast shows on Tuesday nights is, is like, wow, man, the person that I am when I'm with all the people that have supported me really makes up probably three fourths of who I actually am as a person, that person, I sure do miss them, you know, and, and it's crazy. And so they keep sending me all these cute pictures of them with their dog and their, you know, playing songs or jogging, some cute stuff. It's so great. It's awesome. Well, I think that you're taking advantage of this time and really using it to touch your fans. They're just so appreciative. So what is your rundown schedule? You're live on Instagram Tuesdays and? Tuesdays uh, at seven o'clock central, I do a thing where I talk about how I found um, uh, the peace that I feel these days and, and just what my journey to happiness is. And I play songs about it. I talk to people that might have questions about 
because people ask me all the time, man, you used to be so dark and so depressing and so dramatic. How did you find such happiness? And I like to share that with people. I love to share it with people because it's not hard. It just takes a lot of honesty and a lot of time, which we have, Lauren, which we have, <laughs> we do. you know, and a lot of time. So I, they've asked me to share it with them. And every Tuesday I do that. And then every Friday I have guests on, um, people at small businesses, uh, tattoo artists, uh, different bands that I want to really support and shout out from Up Down Records here at our label office. And, um, and then every other Friday, I do a stage it show. Um, tonight, I'm playing two back-to-back -back shows, foiled. I'm pretty freaking nervous about it. You know, I'm kind of sweating. I was actually nice that I get to do this interview with you because it's, I was like, okay, cool. I get to talk to Lauren before I do this damn two shows straight. Oh my God. So, but we, we have a plan. Like every day we get here around 10 a.m. and we do as many radio promotions and as many radio reaching out Radio is, is the reason why Blue October exists. Radio is the reason why people see us. Each town needs to start supporting their station and the promotions that they do because they're for the community. And so we're out there just trying to support the stations as much as we can because they're the ones that have been supporting us for years. And without them, we wouldn't have a touring base. We wouldn't have a single reacting the way it is on the top 40 right now. It's number 28. And that's strictly because of people like you guys giving us this time and camera face time and um, loving us and giving us support like you always have. So thank you, Troy, and thank you, Lauren, and thank you, John, for this time. Um, but that's what we do. And then we just do like three or four of those a day. Then we write, we work on the album, we work on this art, we work on the book. Then we go home and love on our kids and try to make out with our wives as much as possible. <laughs> you know? I actually tried to make out with my wife before I came here today. Uh, she was, she was it, yeah, she was homeschooling. It wasn't a good time, you know? <laughs> I was like, babe, what about me? <laughs> That goes over real well. Yeah, that did not go well. Isn't that, uh, couldn't that be integrated into the health studies portion of homeschooling? See, <laughs> I like her style. Yeah. Sex ed. Babe, I'd like to teach you something today. I'm your teacher. Oh, yeah. Come here. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, Lauren. Do you have uh, any idea of a ball? How stupid number? I am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> of how many songs that you've written to date? Over, over 300, I know that, over 300, I mean, I, and we're talking about songs that are completed or songs that have music that need lyrics finished, that need, um, I would say all of that, probably it's about, man, probably 350, 400, something like that. Wow. But that, there could be more, there could be more, you know. We started the last we, album. We had like at least 70 ideas. For yeah, yeah, yeah. The last album that we just finished, we started, we had 70 songs that we were choosing from. And those were just the ones that we found, you know, that were new. And plus we published like 120, 150 of them. So we've written a lot. Yeah. Maybe we should get a hobby. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe that's what my wife's talking about. When I need to spend more quality time with her. Sorry. Your songs aren't going to finish themselves. Yeah, you know. I don't know why you're giving off a very Chris Farley down by the river. Go down by <laughs> That's right. Oh my gosh, yes, please. It's September, right? Coming up. Is it sep wait, what? It's August. It's August right now, right? Wait, <laughs> did she just say it's September right now? No, it's August, damn it. <laughs> it's April. It's April. That's right. Damn, my son's born in this damn month. No, yeah, your yeah. album. Your album. Oh, yeah, yeah. There goes the lighter again. That's the ultimate compliment. Yeah, the album comes out in September, but we have a song that comes out every month uh, while Oh My My climbs up the charts. And the next song that's going to be out is a song called This Is What I Live For, written by Eric, myself, and Steve Schultz from the band Long Wave out of New York. And um, we just love it, man. We're just going to keep on rocking in this free world, babe. And if I had it my way, I'd, I'd make a freaking Christmas album. If we're off tour for two, if we're, if we're off tour this summer, I'm going to dress up this whole studio as Christmas freaking theme park. And I'm going to record a Christmas jazz album. That's what I'm, or Christmas rock album. I do expect a Christmas Tiger King theme mm. song cover. I know that you can do it. I can do it. See, I got Santa tattooed. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, I Are can do that. Tiger King. from Chicago. Oh yeah. Uh, where, hold on. Where, where is it? It's 
Wait, I'm going to have to lift up my shirt. Yes, I hope you don't mind. You're welcome. Ooh. Everyone on Facebook, you're welcome. We're getting some skin. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. See that scorpion right there? Look at that. It moves. Watch this, Lauren. Oh, gosh, it's moving. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's moving. You just got tickets to the gun show for free. You're welcome. Guest list approved. That was backstage action, too. Man, I smell good. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, um, that was that, that was done. Yeah, yeah, that was good. All right. Chicago baby. Jess loves your honesty. Ashley says she got a speeding ticket after a concert because she was so pumped. And Will says we need a box set. Oh, we're doing a box set. Oh, we're gonna do a box set. All right, Eric's next. Write this down, Eric. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> this poor guy is like, ah. Yeah, we're doing a box set of all the albums on vinyl. And um, and what's great about this new album is that there's so much beautiful art in it that uh, each album, each song will have its own piece of art. Uh, uh, what am I going like this? Yeah, yeah, each album will have its own piece of art. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm all about the, the visuals. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Can we maybe talk you into doing one more song? Of course I can. Go, I, I mean, I, she threw me off there. You see that? She was like, can we? And I went, I don't think. I was just like, stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, here we go. There will be days when you're falling down There will be days when you're inside out There will be days when you fall apart Someone else will break your heart They're never gonna hold you back I'm always gonna have your back So try to remember that I hope you're happy I hope you're good I hope you get what you wish for And you're well understood And now I'm standing here looking at you I'm wondering what the hell you're gonna do with those Dr. Pepper eyes and your purple gum hair. Yeah, I'm standing right here. I remember how I held you so right. I remember that Saturday night, do you? There will be days when you're falling down. There will be days when you're inside out. There will be days when you fall apart. Someone else will break your heart. They're never gonna hold you back. I'm always gonna have your back. So try to remember that. I hope you're happy. I hope you're good. I hope you get what you wish for. And you will. Stood. And whatever your progress, hey, look, I know that you'll be fine because I hope you're happy, even if you're not mine. I remember when the world was ours to take. I remember you next to me. I remember you with every breath I take. You'll always have a piece of me. I remember that. Try to remember that, Lord. I remember every word that we spoke. You right here next to me. I remember how we tried and we tried. Everything. Try to remember that. But I hope you're happy, Chicago. I said, I hope you're happy, Chicago. Sing out. I hope you're happy. Yeah. I hope you're good. I hope you get what you wish for. And you're well understood. And whatever your progress, Chicago, look, I know you'll be fine. 
I love you. Thank you so much, Justin, for taking some time out to talk with us and share your talents. It's Aww. so appreciated. You're just one of those people that it's just like a bright shining light in what feels like maybe a very dark and confusing, scary time. You're really just a pool of positivity and it's super cool to have you around. Well, I appreciate it. And every single time I come up there, you guys are so kind to me. So thank you, Troy and John and you, Lauren. I just can't thank you enough. Like your station is legendary. And the fact that I get to walk the halls in it where legends have walked and stay and play on the stage that legends have played at, you know, it's just insane sometimes when I think about it. So thank you for having me on your show. And it's such an honor. And if there's anything I can ever do for your killer ass station, just holler at your boy. Back at you and can't wait yeah. to actually see in person and get that good old. <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so everybody, the video for Oh My My coming out on the 29th. We've yep. got the Blue October documentary coming out May 20th. Yeah, May 20th, May 21st for everybody to rent. They can rent it in their iso in the comforts of their own isolation. And, and um, <laughs> hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's some is good that, stuff. Is that lube? <laughs> oh, that's what I said the other day. <laughs> I said, oh, let, hold on. Hold on, Lauren. Let me get lubed up here. Hold on. Where <laughs> Oh, God, I shaved earlier. Oh, Jeez. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh my gosh, holy. this is what I live for. The new album, the new Black Blue October album, number 10, yeah. coming out in September. And still some tickets available for your second Stage It show tonight, performing yeah, the Foiled album. Yeah, with eyeliner on. It's going to be crazy. Eyeliner. I'm going to look like an, I'm going to look like a, uh, what did I say earlier? A, a raccoon, raccoon, but I think I'm gonna look like a like not a. Did you say chubby raccoon? I didn't say chubby. Who did I say chubby earlier? No, <laughs> Lauren. Did I say chubby? No, Eric. No, I didn't. But thanks Dude, for adding that in. Push-ups in your free time, like but they're popping skittles. You're a chiseled, chiseled man right now. Oh, chiseled. Just tell me I look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. That's what I want, Eric. That's what I want. No, I would. I would say that you look better than Brad Pitt fight club. Lauren, <laughs> I love you so much. Okay, I'm gonna have a great night now. I love you too, Justin. Thank you, Thanks. Eric. So great to see you and- Thanks for having us. Stay safe. Thank you, I love you. Have a good, be safe, okay? Bye. Bye. That was 